Good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Before we start class, and I always need to have my glasses on so I can see, if you have a strap, I uh, would love for you to grab a strap today. So I want to get on about a minute earlier so you have a chance to go grab a, either a yoga strap or a tie um, or a belt, like, but make sure the belt is long enough that you can um, be able to do some good shoulder opening. So I'll give you a minute, 30 seconds to go grab a strap, a belt, or a um, tie, <laughs> or whatever, a piece of rope might work. So good morning. Um, let me know in the chat box if um, you're having any problems hearing me right now or if everything seems okay. I am Danielle Sangita and have a fun class today. We're going to do lots of different things. Um, I got this cute shirt on that says B and then there's a present. Get it? Be present. <laughs> um, so this morning what I want to do is a little combination of like shoulder opening with the strap. I want to do some hamstring opening uh, for anyone who's having some tight hamstrings. I want to do some wake up points on the meridian system or what's called the marma points. So we're going to do some of that, just like this waking up our organs and getting some flow going in our energetic field. Um, so we're going to do all that good stuff. So is everybody okay? Got their straps? Any comments? Also, feel free at any time before or after class, um, if you have any thoughts of either different classes you'd like myself or Valerie to do, um, any particular either asanas, poses, or any um, focus, focus points that we haven't focused on yet, or any comments about lighting or speed of the class or if you need a little more or a little less, um, please let us know what works best because we're doing, uh, we want to make sure when we're doing these classes that you're getting what you need out of the classes. So feel free, make a comment. <laughs> All right, so first let's just get into a nice, comfortable position. Feel free, we are gonna be in this position for a little bit, um, so feel free at any time if this doesn't feel comfortable to find um, a position that does. You can do the sitting in a chair. Um, I have a bolster and if at the point you get like a little cramp or it just feels tight, then feel free to reposition yourself. So, yay. Let us begin our practice. First, just taking a few moments, settling in, just rocking a little bit from side to side. If you have a bolster, Sit on like the last quarter of the bolster so that the hips are raised, but it allows your pelvis to tilt forward a bit. Soften your eye gaze. And just again, kind of rocking a little bit, just gentle from side to side. Or if you feel like you really want to just make a little bit more of some circular, but gentle, small, circular movements. Just to slowly begin to awaken the spine. 
And while you're doing this, just allowing the lips to close and bringing in fresh air through the nostrils. Come back to center. Just rocking a little bit from side to side. Softening the jaw. Maybe making some circles, very small circles in the opposite direction. And creating some organic movement here. What kind of needs to move as you're getting into your body, into this present, be present moment? What does your body need? And begin to now just organically flow a little bit. Just move. What is your body? Don't worry about what I'm doing. What you think you need to do as you tune in, where do you feel like you just need to have a little bit movement, a little bit of just some liquid motion? Maybe you want to move the shoulders just a little bit. Maybe one at a time, maybe both of them. Maybe you want to just gently roll the head from side to side. So allowing the opportunity for you to soften or close your eyes and tune in to what you need at this moment. How can you better the motion in your body? Where are some cobwebs perhaps that are just kind of hanging out that need a little attention and a little bit of movement? Maybe you want to bring your palms face out. Nice. Now go ahead and because we've been in that position for a minute, bring the legs out if that feels comfortable. If you're in a chair, allow the legs to kind of come out a little bit. This is a position we just don't sit in very often. And maybe if we're gardening more or reading more or at the computer more these days, this is such a nice, gentle, like, opener to do each and every day. And then as you begin, again, let's organically just, like, move your body. So you be your own guide. And how I'm choosing to move is, like, kind of sliding my right hand down my right leg a bit and then coming back. I'm going to slide in my left hand down. So again, see where there's some tightness. That's what yoga is all about. It's about tuning in, tuning into yourself, tuning into what you need, tuning into your inner being. And again, finding this flow, just this nice movement. And having permission and giving yourself that permission to just see what you need. Maybe you want to open your shoulders a little more. Maybe you want the arms to come overhead. Good. 
I got to go to the beach this week in the Outer Banks and I really just watched the waves. Like I was really mesmerized by the waves this week. And I would just stand there in the water and just kind of watch the movement and the patterns and see if I could find a pattern in it and see how some would be really high and then there'd be a couple that would be low and then the tides going in and out. And really it's kind of a meditation practice in itself to, to watch and be a part of this vast ocean that we have. <sighs> okay, so let's reposition our legs. Put the opposite leg out in front. And I'd like to do some meridian points for awakening, for kind of waking up. Um, so what you're going to do is take like a thumb and your first finger so you're creating like a little beak. <laughs> so practice your beak. And then we're going to work first on spleen points. So the spleen points are kind of these points that are um, under, if you're a woman, like around that bra line. So we're first going to kind of come out the, uh, right under the breast, under the chest, a little bit out to either side. And maybe it feels a little tender. So what you're going to do is kind of take that beak, you're going to press in and then press out. Press in and then release. We're going to do this five times. Good. And just notice how that feels. Now we're going to move a little bit more on the inside of the breast. I'm going to scoop up underneath that. And play around a little bit. This might be a little bit harder to find. And again, just press in and release. Press in, release. Four and five. Now we're going to go up to the, the thymus gland. The thymus is kind of like our regulator, our hormone regulator. And it's kind of right where the heart is, right on the sternum. So here's your clavicles, these two points. So it's like right in the middle, almost like a T. You'll feel that because it feels a little tender. So kind of go around and see where it might feel a little tender. And then let's do just, let's do three points for a time. So let's press in, one, release. Press two, press three, and release. And we're gonna come up now to where our clavicle is. So here's our clavicle. And here is the medial part of the clavicle. So kind of where you feel that bone bending or rotating down. So right into that like little corner right there. And you might do better if you just use your finger, your pointer. And again, let's do pressing in and release. Pressing in. Release. These are for kidneys. Pressing in and release. Good. And we're going to go up to under our eyes, right under like kind of the middle of the eye, right where you step that bone, the jawline here. And then you're going to press in. And release, press in, release, press in. This is for the stomach, meridian. So meridian is in Chinese medicine, but there's marma points that are very much connected to the meridian points. Good. Last one I want to do is the sinuses, because I know people are definitely having some allergies right now. So take again the fingers and you're going to go right to where there's that 
point at the beginning of your eyebrow. And then this time, just hold this one. And then release. You might even feel like there's a difference in opening right there. And you're going to press up and kind of press in. Press up and in. One more time. Nice. And then release. Yeah. You definitely feel a little bit more opening. So bring your legs out again. Let's just shake them out for a minute. And do some nice kind of strong shakes to activate the energy in the legs to help wake up this morning. And then it's always good to pat the outside and then pat the inside and tapping into all the different meridian and marma points. I always like to do this in the mornings. Let's do one more round. Good. Let's do the other side, inside, then outside. Pick one leg, doesn't matter. And then the outside. It's nice, good for the lymph system. And one more. And then one more kind of loud activation. Just like a cup of coffee. <laughs> Okay, so what I'd like to do next is grab your strap, tie, or belt, and if you have a belt or strap, just make sure you have the buckle in this hand here, and then take the strap in the other hand. I'm going to go back a little bit just so you can see. And play with this for a moment while you do this, because what we want to do is we're going to do some shoulder work. And I'll go from the side here so you can see. So you're going to do the shoulder work. I always like to sit on a bolster. Okay. And find the length that works for you. And first, we're just going to take it up. And then slowly bring it back if you can. So just beginning to really open the shoulders. So go back and forth a few times. And maybe you need to bring it out more or maybe you're not getting enough of a stretch, so bring it in. But you want it to be comfortable. Again, kind of like that ocean wave, right? Just that really organic, it's all about kind of be and visualize this ocean wave, these movements of just fluidity. There's no rigidity, it's just fluid and organic. So let's do one more of these. And then bring it back. Bring your right shoulder, right ear to right shoulder. Bring the hands down by the side. Chin to chest. Left ear, left shoulder. Chin to chest. Right ear, right shoulder. into chest, left ear, left shoulder. Good. So this time again, grab your strap. And we're going to find a point now 
then you might have to lessen it a little bit or um, bring it out a little bit more. And then you're going to find that point where you really feel that stretch. So when you really feel that stretch, that's when your chest opens up. Your arms might get a little shaky. But when it does get shaky, then pull with your hands kind of gently, just pull outward away from each other. Open the chest, lift up the shoulders, lift up the chin. Good, and release. Put it off to the side for a moment. And come into child's pose. Bring your arms down by the side. So you're going to come into child's pose. And you're going to bring your arms forward as you're coming up. And then bring your arms out. Bring your arms out. Come back. And we're just doing this nice little, again, it's all about the waves today. So your hands are down by the side. You're kind of allowing them to move forward. And I'll show you from here. You can either go like this and then hug in and come down. We're going to do that same thing, but we're going to come up on our knees. So come up on your knees. Bring your arms straight out. Let the chest open up. And then give yourself a big hug. Slowly come back down. Release your arms down to the side. Inhale, come up. Back onto your heels. If that feels okay, allow the chest to open. Expand those wings that you have. Let the wings come out. Drop the shoulders. Let the chin come up. And then one arm over the other. Give yourself a hug round the spine. Inhale as you come up now, this time up onto and do the same motion. Wings open, then when you hug, put the opposite arm on top. Go ahead and round down, release the hands. We'll do one more round <laughs> now that we've got it. So really find the fluidity in this. Bring your torso up. Bring the arms out. Open the wingspan. One hand over the other for a nice little hug. Round the spine. Fold in. Come up higher as if we're going into like a camel. Wingspan up. Bring the left hand or opposite hand over, round the spine. And release. And just put your hands behind your back right now. So if this feels okay. And what we're going to do is gently, ever so gently, kind of roll onto the crown of our head. So this is called rabbit pose, where it's like a yoga seal, like a, a mudra. When we do this, though, I don't want you to put a lot of pressure on your crown. You're actually kind of igniting the arms up more. So you're using the energy upward and really just kind of putting a soft little balancing point. So if you're not sure what I'm going to do, feel free to watch first and then try it. But so you're going to bring your, you're going to interlace and then come up. And release. And then you're going to press your hands behind you 
See how this feels on your knees. You may just want to stay here, or maybe you want to lift your hips up just slightly. And let's try that again. So again, interlace your fingers. Activate the arms up. Come on to the crown. Release the hands. Put the hands behind you. You can stay like this. Maybe you want to lift the hips up just to get a stretch in those quads. And then come down. Come onto your hands and knees. Curl the right foot as you extend it. And get a nice stretch in the calf. Release, bring the left leg out, switch positions, curl the toes, press that heel into the earth, feel the stretch in the calf. Good. One more time, let's bring this right leg, let's just bring it straight out. And then bring the left arm straight out. Hold this pose for a moment. Keep the chin slightly tucked in. Drop that left hand. Bring the right leg over to the opposite side. And now bring that left arm in the opposite direction. Takes a little balance. Keep your eye gaze down and then release. Good. Come back onto your heels and just shake out your wrists. Trying to create some flow. Let's try the other side. Stretch out the opposite leg, opposite arm. So the opposite arm is out, opposite leg is out, so you're getting a nice extension. Drop the arm down for a moment. As you cross that opposite leg to the other side, so for me, I'm working the left leg is back. And then I'm just kind of going out in that same angle with the right arm. Good. Come back. Curl the toes. We're going to go into downward facing dog. So when you're ready, go ahead. Oh, feel free to make a groan or a sigh. See how your hamstrings feel? Come on down. Come back into child's pose. So bring your arms down by the side. And just allow, and if that's too much, you can bring your hands into a fist and place them on the forehead. While we're here, we're going to hold this pose for a few more moments. Feel free to find where that tightness is and create some fluidity. So create some movement. Let your hips, let your lower back
And if this is too much on your knees, you can do this in a chair. So you can be in a chair and maybe you're just working from side to side. If you're in a chair or you want to use a chair, I'll show because I got a comment. So for down dog, you can always do something like this for a down dog. Which is a nice option for people. And if this is too much on your knees to do like a child's pose, then I would just say you could come into like a forward fold. You could stand up if that feels better. I think this is a question for Kara. So Kara, maybe you want to just kind of stand up and put a little micro bend and then you can just kind of fold forward. It's still that state, same kind of stretch that you would get in child's pose. So you could do that either sitting in a chair, folding forward, standing up, folding forward. Does that help? Good. Thank you for that question. So what I'd like you to do now is come back into a seated position. Now, if this feels okay for you and you want to stay like this, you can. Otherwise, you can be in a seated position in a chair. Grab your strap. So this time with the shoulder opening, you're going to hold the strap up and then you're going to bring it over to one side. So I'm going over to my right side and I've got my strap in the left arm and I'm just bringing that left arm slightly back. Again, opening up those shoulders. And then I'm going to release and just bring your opposite hand on the floor. Bring that top arm. Play with the positioning of the strap for a minute. And then you can bring that strap a little bit behind you to open up and isolate the pecs of the right side or opposite side. So bring that down. So we could try that again if you would like. Do that in a different position if you want. So if you were kneeling and that feels like that was enough, kneeling or if you have knee issues, then switch into a seated position. I'll give everybody a moment. So let's try that again. So I'm going to start on the right side. I'm going to place the strap just about where my hip is, outward, about six inches or so. Then we take the strap in the opposite side, kind of find where I want to. It's enough tension to get a good stretch. So this is stretching the forearm, opening up the pec muscle. You can have your head in a neutral position if that feels better. Release, so all you have to do is just do the same. Put your hand here on the opposite side. Good. Go ahead now, put that off to the side. Bring your legs out again. This time maybe they come out a little bit wider. And 
and walk your hands forward. Walk them nice and gentle and slow. Allow the feet to relax. Let the head just gently bow down. And walk your hands back up. Bring your right finger into your belly button. Bring your left hand to the third eye, right in the middle, just a little above the center of the eyebrows. And just lift up. So you're kind of pressing in a little on both points and lifting up. You're going to hold this. Keep breathing. And release. Walk the hands down forward. And while we're here, again, I want you to find a motion that works for you. So what helps you go deeper into this pose? And some people feel like they push themselves maybe a little farther, or press down harder, but it's really about like, finding the ease into going deeper. So what I like to do is just move like we did earlier. I like to rock a little back and forth. And as I'm doing that, I'm gently loosening the hamstrings in the lower back to be able to work my way into a bit deeper forward fold. So play with that. Be playful with your practice. It doesn't have to be stiff. It doesn't have to be regimented. I find you get more results when you're a little bit more passive in the approach, not so active, more like let's just ease into. Come back up and bring that Middle finger again into the belly button with the right hand. Take the middle finger of the left hand to the third eye. Press into these points and lift up. You're going to engage, hold this for three to four breaths, just natural breathing. Now bring the legs together forward. We're going to take the left knee, bend the left knee, cross it over to the opposite side. We're going to bring your right hand and we're just going to press it against that left knee. Bring the left arm up and just going to create a little twist. back to center. Release that leg. Bring your arms all the way up. Fold forward. You can bend the knees if you want. And then release. 
gonna bring the right foot over to the outside of the left knee. Take the left arm again. You're gonna press that. When you do that, it kind of lifts up the spine. So let's inhale. Bring that right heart, hand up and around. And then create a twist to the right. Release, bring the hands all the way down, forward fold. Come back to center. Begin to come down onto the floor. Coming into the last pose of the day. So on your back into corpse pose or shavasana. Come down slowly. And let the legs come out at a nice, just gentle angle as you're laying down on your spine. Let the palms come out on either side. It's a nice, comfortable angle. Palms up so that you can receive what you need from today. And as you're lying here in this last pose, this last shape, want you to think about what it is that you do need today. What is it that you do need today? And then I want you to visualize that. Just visualize that picture of what it is that you need. And then draw that energy into your palms as you're lying in this last pose. If you need more love, and kind of visualize a picture of what that looks like. And then you almost like you're bringing it, that image into both of your receiving hands. If you need more patience, more compassion, what does that look like? What is the visual of that? And then as if you are bringing those images into your palm.
you can stay in this position. Your body just needs to rest your body needs to just soak in different things that we did this morning then do that when we are able to practice stillness And our mind is able to follow. The more we can be still, then the more we can be still in our mind. Those who feel like they would like to sit up and take a little bit of time to meditate, then that's a great opportunity too. But I will plan to see you all in a few weeks. I'm every other week and Valerie is the weeks in between. And again, feel free Send us any thoughts or comments about the classes, what you need. And I'm so glad, Kara, that you told me about your knees because it's hard to know what's going on when you're practicing in your own space, not in a classroom. So always feel comfortable and asking questions. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Be present, be fluid, and we'll see you next time. Namaste.